Hey YouTube, what's going on? Dose in the house, the Micro Beam 256 LED ProViews TV. Here's the reviews from pros that know what's going on. This is the show you've been waiting for. Let's go! <laughs> What's going on? Dose in the house, ProViews TV. First of all, I'd like to give a shout out to Andrew Baxter behind the camera. He made it happen. Shout out to FNG0001. Anyway, welcome to ProViews TV. I hope you like the new animations and the new production. Uh, we finally made it, baby. So let's get to it. Today, we're going to be talking about the Micro Beam 256 LED. This is made from a company called Flowlight, and uh, the reason why I got it is because it is a tremendous piece of hardware. Uh, once you turn it on, woo, super bright. So you have an intensity bar right in the back. The intensity, you're gonna be able to manage the intensity how you want it. And another awesome thing about this camera is that it comes with these amazing gels. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, why am I gonna use these gels? Well, what's, uh, what's amazing about these gels is that depending on the type of shooting situation you're in, you are going to be able to match the lighting. For example, let's say right now I'm shooting in tungsten light, and if you saw when I turned this on, this is really, my light actually, you could purchase the light in a different configuration. Uh, this light was purchased to be uh, at uh, 56K, I believe, which is uh, daylight uh, outside light. Um, and I configured it with the Panasonic battery. I was told that b and that the Panasonic battery is actually really nice. Uh, but in the room right now, I'm not using that type of light. So that I can match the lighting to my environment, I can just put that on there. And now I got lights that match the environment. Right now it's not too good because I have all the gels stuck in there. But uh, you have different gels inside. You got the diffuser, you got warm, cooler, uh, ultraviolet, and things of that nature. But what's the real reason you wanted to see this video? You want to see this bad boy in action. So what I'm going to do is that I've set up a room. We actually played around with the darkness, how you're going to be able to shoot this uh, because it's spotlight and things of that nature. Let's go to the B-roll. Uh, this is the little setup that I have. And um, right now, as you can see, it's a dark hallway. I'm going to be putting up the information in three, two, one. Bow. These are the camera settings. Quick note, make sure that if you're going to be shooting anything with any type of lighting, make sure you have a decent enough lens. As you can see here, I just went for a wide lens just to show you guys that um, the lens does make a difference. I'm just going to show you how the light actually um, looks whenever you put it in the hallway. Like right now, as you can see, there's an unusable image. I'm going to show you the different lights and gels on how they look. Really important, I feel that um, these tests are more so that you can see the colors and stuff like that with the gels on. Um, I've shot people with this light, and it is amazing for that um, because I keep the camera... Excuse me, I keep the light right in the front of my camera, right in the front of my rig. So I'm going to go to the very first uh, gel, which is this one right here. Uh, so this one doesn't actually have a gel. Um, this is just pure light. Remember, when I bought mine, it is already set to 56 Kelvin, which is daylight. As you can see, it's slightly bluish. You can barely see it. But look how it lit up that entire hallway. And this is 18 feet. So this is, I have a pretty long hallway right here. Um, it lit it up good. It's totally, it's, you know, somewhat usable. But again, this light, it really wasn't made to light up an entire 18-foot hallway, you know. Um, make sure you're always white balancing the camera. Uh, that way you don't actually see the, uh, the tinge. I'm actually, as you can see the difference now, I've just dimmed it down. Can't really use it. Bring it back up. It, uh, I'm bringing it up slowly. Now you're able to see 
uh, the entire hallway. So make sure you white balance the camera. That's very important. Uh, depending on the uh, the environment, you know, you're either going to have daylight, tungsten lighting, fluorescent. Uh, the different gels are going to help you match the same light of your environment. So we're going to go to the next gel. Uh, this one is the tungsten gel. Um, as you can see right now, it's uh, it's orangey. Uh, but let me tell you, man, it is so beautiful when it comes to actually um, uh, actually putting this in a environment that has like tux and lighting already. Um, actually, what you were seeing before is the actual light with the um, with the plastic carrier holding it inside of the light. Uh, I really came to find out that if you take that uh, that film out. Uh, it shines the light through a lot better, but then again, you really want to have uh, that plastic carrier in between the film and the bulbs. This is how it kind of looks like when uh, the carrier is removed and that gel is there. As you can see, it's a, it's a little bit brighter. The camera's a little bit out of focus, but that's all right. Um, hey, here we go. I caught it. I caught it, you guys. I caught it. So this is going to be the uh, tungsten light uh, right here. Uh, again, it's going to help out tremendously. Uh, I used it more for like close up interviews and stuff like that because you can like dim it down and um, that's really going to help you out. There's a diffuser in here. I didn't use the diffuser only because naturally all it's going to do is going to soften it up if it's too, too bright. That's what you're going to use the diffuser for. Um, I believe this one right here is the minus one fourth green that's the name of the tint that's on there it looks slightly pink uh we we can't see it again because the uh the camera's white balance so so as you can see the micro beam 256 is an amazing piece of software um i opted to get the 256 because sometimes i use this as the only light that i have i felt the 128 wasn't going to give me as much uh coverage lighting wise uh, the 256 does cost a little bit more than the 128, but I've come to find out that this light really is amazing. You know, the biggest thing that I want you to understand is that you need to make sure that you're white balancing your cameras. Uh, the DSLRs, you could white balance them by actually taking a picture of your environment, and that automatically white balances the camera. If not, uh, you can go into the white balance menus in your DSLR and adjust it that way. Uh, one thing I noticed about this light is that sometimes it does kind of give it like a, a spotlight in the middle. And you'll notice that from the B-roll. Uh, so that's one thing to consider. But, um, you know, this light is extremely versatile. Uh, one of my favorite features about the light is that it actually comes with a, um, it comes with a 12 volt adapter. So you're going to see that inside of the bag, you're going to get the carrying case and you're going to get the DC outlet connector. So you can actually mount this on top of any standard light tripod thingy, you know, and you can put it right on the top because the top right here, it's going to have that, uh, I believe it's quarter inch or three eighth inch. You guys know which one I'm talking about. And you can actually mount that on the top. It can become one of your main light, you know, either the hair light, the key light and what have you. This light is extremely versatile. I, I love the way this light works. I'm really happy with my purchase. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a little bit about this light and what it's able to do. And I'm sure that you guys are going to be extremely happy with the results. So, my name is Dose, and this is the new ProViews TV. Here's the reviews from pros that know what's going on. Let's go! <laughs> watching pro views tv it's the reviews from pros that know what's going on let's go